people will tell you that dopamine is the feel-good hormone. And that's wrong on two counts, because really, first of all, dopamine is a neurotransmitter, it's not a hormone. But it's also not the feel-good hormone. It's really your body's reward system. And I wanna talk in this video about how you can capitalize on dopamine and how you can capitalize on that reward system to make your body a little bit more accustomed to being motivated and to encourage your body to release dopamine in the right situations so that you can ultimately make more money but also have the energy to work out more, to eat better, and be motivated to make all those changes. It's Thomas Allower with Optimize CEO, and let's dive into exactly how dopamine works and how you can capitalize on it. So dopamine, we, we hear about it a lot probably because of the drug cocaine. We hear about how cocaine will increase dopamine, which uh, gives your body that sense of reward. It likes the drug, so you crave it more. You wanna go back and you wanna have more of the drug because it's telling your body, hey, this feels good. It's triggering the release of dopamine and triggering your body's reward system. But if we break it down on a day-to-day -day level on how dopamine is released and what happens, and this can give someone a really good insight into how dopamine works just on a very simple level. If you were right now to reach out and grab a doorknob and that doorknob was gone and you just reached out and you touched nothing, it would feel kind of weird, right? I mean, all your proprioceptors and everything is telling you that it's time to touch that doorknob, but the doorknob's gone. So your brain doesn't really get the feedback. So the dopamine doesn't really get released because it's not getting that stimulus. It's not getting that micro reward. Well, this is happening all the time throughout the day. It's happening when we have the effective completion of a sentence. It's happening when we have effective communication. It's happening when we touch ourselves in our hand. It happens when we touch our head because we're preparing for our bodies, we're preparing for movement, and we're preparing for an action and reaction. So we're constantly having this feedback system with dopamine. Well, what that tells us is our bodies and our brains are goal-oriented. And we hear a lot, and I talk a lot about writing your goals down, setting your goals, and giving yourself something tangible to work towards. But the reason that I wanted to do this video is to give you a reason from a science standpoint, from a neurotransmitter standpoint, on why setting goals and how actually writing things down and working towards a reward can make you a more positive and motivated person. If you write down small micro rewards, so write down small micro things that you really need to reach. Like let's say you want to eat six clean meals one day, or you want to get to the gym by a certain time. Write that goal down and embed it in your mind so that when you reach that goal, your brain triggers the reward system and you want to do it again. So if you successfully walk through that door at 7 a.m. to the gym, like you set and you wrote down, your brain is going to get that surge of dopamine. You're going to get that reward system. And then from there, your body sort of steamrolls in this effect. The more dopamine that you produce, the more dopamine that wants to be produced later on. So you get this constant influx of motivation. It's why some people are more hardwired to be motivated than others. A lot of it comes down to how you've conditioned yourself. So don't just write down your big goals. You need to write down your micro goals so that you're conditioning those neuro pathways so that it's the path of least resistance for your mind to trigger motivation. You're basically convincing your body to become hardwired to be motivated. And this is going to change how you look at business. It's going to change how you look at your fitness and it's going to change how you perceive your family and how motivated you are to be the best version of yourself. So I encourage you to try it out and try it out in all walks of your life. Try it out in fitness, try it out in business, try it out in the kitchen, and try it out on even the most micro small things that you can possibly think of. Just condition yourself to be motivated. Take the steps. See you in the next video.